Hey guys, it's Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge. One of my viewers, regular viewers, he's become a friend of mine. In fact, we think we're probably long lost cousins. Well, maybe third or fourth cousins or something. It's kind of weird. He lives on the other side of the country. Anyways, he bought this knife this summer and suggested that I get it too. We're looking at a knife that's a little over $10. Well, in US dollars, it's under 10. <laughs> You can get it at Amazon for 10 US bucks, just under uh, 13, 12, $13 Canadian, uh, what have you. Other prices I've got, I've got prices for Europe and Germany as well. Cold steel, 4116 steel, which is a good German uh, stain resistant steel, stainless. It's, it's a high stainless steel. It's, that steel has been used a lot for uh, kitchen knives for quite a while, 30, 40 years or so, maybe more. So it's a good seal. Uh, we got a long blade, roughly four inches, a uh, Zytel, but proprietary Zytel kind of handle, a little bit of decoration there, and a really unique kind of lock system on this knife that uh, is, you know, the Kurdu. So we're going to take a look at that. You've got a ratcheting action on the way that it opens. Interesting, lightweight knife, big blade. And uh, it's been around for, I don't know, over 10 years, I think. But I finally got one. And at this price, since my channel's for budget knives, I figured I should share this with you because there's a number of viewers on this channel who are fairly new to knife collecting and you need to know about this knife. So stick around. The full review's coming at you right now. As I said in the intro, uh, I got this knife because I was asked to get one, or it was suggested to me. But in reality, I've had this knife in my shopping cart at Amazon off and on for almost two years. I just never pulled the trigger. And so uh, when my friend uh, Stuart suggested that I pull the trigger on this thing, I did. Uh, we've got a very, almost a mirror face on here. And so you can see the cold steel china right there. We've got like a Bowie style blade. A nail neck right there um, and it's a nice flat edge and a little bit of a belly right there and a tip that can be used for doing you know a slight bit of work if you need it to uh, stabbing kind of work small sharpener's choil the uh, grind along the edge is fairly sharp from the factory uh, it's not the most even grind I'll talk about that in a minute and then this Zytel handle is um, a piece that looks like it's been uh, made in two parts and then glued together. It, that's really what it looks like to me. You've got this unique lock on the back and I had a tough time with this lock. So I finally watched uh, Len Thompson's video on how he closes this knife. Len Thompson is the owner of Cold Steel. He's uh, a very somewhat provocative guy and uh, but he made a video on how to open and close this knife because a lot of people are having trouble with it and this spring back here you see a pin right here so this piece of steel is a spring you pull the spring back with uh, this you know keychain ring <laughs> and that pulls it off of the tang of the blade right there and that allows you to close the knife now i saw another video by cold steel a newer one that's about four years old and that video shows a guy uh, opening it this way or closing it this way he put his hand across it the rings on the index finger and so he pulls back and pushes with his thumb now that's a safe way to do it uh, I just need a little bit longer of a thumb to be able to accomplish that easily it, it, I got it done but it's really hard for me to do to pull far enough up and still be able to push down with my thumb uh, the older video that Len Thompson shows he shows it uh, doing this way he puts his middle finger in the ring and his whole hand on the handle, it pulls back and pushes forward to one click, then let go of everything, get your hand out of the way, and close. So either one of those ways works, but you will find that it's quite hard to pull this up. It's a strong spring. They show a video of whacking the spina's blade hard and whacking the knife on a table, and they say it holds over 65 pounds of weight when you put it right near the tip of the blade and pull down on it. It's a strong, strong lock. So if you're looking for a strong knife uh, of a blade steel that is quite a reasonably good budget blade steel, I would call this 
excellent steal for ten dollars <laughs> for ten dollars this knife has a very good steal and you can customize this a little bit for your own liking um, th this back spring is pinned on should it be screwed on I don't know it works very well that way um, you could lubricate it a little bit in there if you wanted to but you don't really need to uh, it's not one of those fast action knives uh, but uh, the blade does close all the way it's very secure when it's closed there's no pocket clip you just drop it in your pocket and use it when you need it or put it in a backpack or what have you and it's a simple little good knife it's an African style it's styled after an African knife uh, from you know many years ago and uh, called the kudu which is a kind of uh, ungulate uh, some kind of deer with a long set of horns Well, while I was editing the video, I realized I never covered the uh, dimensions on this thing for you guys. And uh, yeah, between yesterday and today, I did nick the tip of my finger there. Pretty deep, but short little cut, opening a package. I forgot to cut towards my chum instead of my index finger. <laughs> it happens to the best of us, doesn't it? Well, let's do the dimensions now. Cutting edge, 10.4 centimeters, 4.1 inches. Blade length, so from the end of the Zytel to the tip of the blade, 10.78 centimeters, 4.24 inches. The blade thickness is 2.4 millimeters, which is 0 0.0945 inches. The uh, blade depth, that's this distance right here, spine to cutting edge, 2.17 centimeters, 0 0.855 inches. And the thickness of the edge behind the grind is 0 0.61 millimeters, that's 0 0.024 inches. So slightly thicker than I like, but not bad at all. I did not get the grind angle on this. Uh, I'll put that information on the screen. I have to set this up on my sharpener uh, to get the accurate measurement of that. And I hadn't done it yet, but it's on the screen as you hear me talking about that. The handle length is 14.56 centimeters, that's 5.73 inches. And uh, the grip area is a little bit less than that, 13.3 centimeters, 5.24 inches. Uh, the handle thickness is 1.27 uh, centimeters, that's half an inch. And that's actually right here at the thickest spot by the uh, where the, the clip comes across the Zytel and adds a little bit of width. The uh, handle depth, that's this distance is 2.29, 0.9 of an inch, so almost an inch. The total length of this knife, and it's not tiny, 25 centimeters. That's 9.84 inches, so it's almost 10 inches the complete length. It does not weigh 2.4 ounces, like Cold Steel says. It is 75 grams, which is 2.65 ounces. There's actually that one video where Len Thompson shows how to open the knife and he says, you know, it's so light, you know, it's like one ounce. <laughs> uh, yeah, 2.65 ounces. An ounce is pretty small. Uh, how much is the cost of this thing? Well, like I was saying earlier, uh, Amazon.com, that's USA, $9.23. In Canada, Amazon.ca, $11.99 Canadian. Uh, in Germany... Amazon.de, it's 14.72 euros. And at Heine Haynes, because there's nothing at Amazon.co.uk, Heine Haynes has this thing for 7.95 pounds. So yeah, this is a knife that is low cost. And the more I use it, the better I'm getting at this thing uh, using this lock. And it it's just a strong lock. I'll give you a... I'm going to take this clip off this off of here and I'll take a close up picture of that. Hopefully you can see exactly how that lock works. So there you go. Yeah, it does have a little bit of side to side blade play just because of the way, you know, this is Zytel. So it's actually held strongly, but the Zytel moves. It's a pliable plastic. It's a strong plastic, but it's not stiff. It's got movement to it. So that's why there's you know a little bit of play on there. But up and down, 
it's locked up very well. A tiny bit of movement, and that's because, you know, right in here on this piece, I can't see it because my fingers, right in there, this piece of steel would have to match that notch in the blade tank perfectly for there to be no play play. But there has to be a little bit of play so that you can unlock it, right? So, yeah, it's got a tiny bit of play, nothing serious. It just is a good functional knife that feels good. And, you know, yeah, it's got a special look to it. It's unique. It's different. And it's kind of cool that way. And the price point means that anybody can get one of these. Now back to the previously recorded part of the review video. Keep watching. So there you go. Let's see how well it cuts. Got a little bit of this uh, green belt again. And it slices through that very easily from the factory. Uh, not a problem at all. Uh, let's try something like this Ethernet cable that I've been cutting lately. And uh, we'll see how well it goes through that. Quite easily, not a problem there. Uh, how sharp is it? Well, from the factory, the edge is quite sharp. Cuts quite well. Uh, of course, I'll be sharpening this myself a little bit more. And so if you're looking for a budget knife that just does some hard work that you can easily get within Canada, um, Amazon.ca has this knife, so there's no import issues at all. You can just grab yourself one of these off Amazon. I've got Amazon links. If you use those, it helps out my channel. So there you go. This Kudu, I think, is going to prove to be a very friendly knife that, uh, you know, I'm going to have for quite a long time because there's no sense in selling it. It's just worth, you know, it's going to cost the price of this knife in postage to, to mail it anywhere. So they might as well buy, theirs, buy themselves their own and there it goes. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Remember guys, always cut towards your chums and not your thumbs.